So this is a tutorial on how to replace the screen on a Lenovo X220 uh, laptop computer. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your computer, make sure that it's been unplugged, and remove the battery from it. Next, what you should do is you'll notice that there are two little black squares at the lower portion of the display near the hinge. Um, you want to take a knife and, or a small screwdriver and pry those little black squares off. I've already done it on this side. Next, you're going to want to take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw that is underneath that square. You, of course, need to do that on both sides. All of the apparatus that retains this bezel onto the computer has now been removed. The bezel is being held in place purely by a force of its clips, so you, you may now pull those out. Apply even and consistent pressure on the bezel, and it should come out. The bottom is the trickiest, so be careful with that. You know, if your old LCD isn't operating, you probably don't have too much to worry about, but you don't want to break any of the plastic. Now, the LCD is held on by four screws that are at each corner. There is a metal frame on the outside of the LCD in which these screws go through. So simply remove these four screws and the LCD will be free from its casing. Now once it's free from its casing, you'll want to be very careful because the ribbon cable that attaches the LCD to the main board of the computer runs behind it. So I would suggest closing your laptop, flipping it around, and then opening it gently to reveal the back side of the display. The back side of the display, the ribbon cable, comes into the display here. It's usually taped down by some quite uh, powerful tape. You'll want to use something thin to slip that under the tape and to pull it out. And then next you'll see a connector. And you want to put pressure on the, only the metal portions of this connector to remove it. So try to avoid pulling at the wires so you don't damage any of the wires. Pull the connector out of the back and your display will come up freely. Now in putting the new display in, you first, you might encounter two layers of protective coverage on this. There's the first one that may come around the edge and um, obscure the holes in the framing. You want to take that one off. But there's a much more discreet cover that will be on the display itself. You may notice if you install it and then turn it on, some numbers on the display. That's actually the covering. Um, you want to install the LCD first and then remove that second layer of covering. So flip your LCD over, reattach the ribbon cable as you, in the same way you did before. Use the tape to push it down to secure it into place. Make sure it's as tight as you can. Get it without trying to flex any of the wires in an inappropriate way. Then I'm going to again shut the LCD, flip it over just to prevent having to put too much force on it. You'll want to line up your screw holes and now take it. Now place back into place the four screws that you took out before.
those four screws in place. You can write the, write the computer up. At this point, you may want to put the battery back in and turn the computer back on to ensure that the LCD display is working properly. I've already tested that in this model, um, so I know that's going to be the case. Uh, you could clean your bezel, as I'm going to do now, in order to ensure that, well, it looks pretty when you put it all back together. to put the bezel back into place, lining up the bottom portion. Try when you're doing this not to put any pressure on the actual portion of the screen. Actually. And then put in your final screws back by the hinge. If you haven't already, you may now take off that second layer of protective coating on your LCD. And you're done.